Welcome to the changes to the team episode for game week 17. Before we get on to the team selection for the upcoming game week, let's take a look at the points scored in game week 16. It was another poor return from the defence this week, with only Marcus Alonso producing significant returns, as Chelsea successfully kept out Sunderland in a 1-0 win. Cedric Suarez missed out through illness, as Saints frustratingly kept their second successive clean sheet without him, meaning Jordi Amat came into the team for his one point. Gareth McCauley lost his clean sheet late on, as Swansea scored a consolation goal in the 78th minute. Only one clean sheet proved to be costly in a game week where a total of 8 teams kept one. In midfield, only Alexis Sanchez could provide a return. He scored a free kick during Arsenal's 2-1 defeat to Everton. Eden Hazard missed out through injury, which saw Etienne Capoue make an appearance, but the Watford midfielder could only manage one point. Roberto Firmino was fairly poor again, failing to hit the target with either of his two goal attempts against Middlesbrough. The decision to keep the Liverpool midfielder rather than take a hit to replace him with Christian Eriksen proved very costly, with the Spurs man providing two goals and one assist against Hull. The poor returns continued up front, as Harry Kane once again failed to score with no Dembele in the Spurs side. Kane failed to register a single shot on target. Diego Costa's consistent run of points finally came to an end, though the Chelsea striker did manage three goal attempts, one of which hit the target. Finally, Andy Carroll came into the team this week. He looked fairly lively, taking six goal attempts, two of which hit the target, but failed to return those all-important points. It's another week where a 50-50 decision has proven costly. The choice this week was to either keep Firmino and bring in Carroll with the free transfer, or alternatively sell Firmino to Ericsson for a hit in order to free up cash to go for Origi rather than Carroll. It was a 21 point swing in the end and the difference between a green arrow and a huge red one. So now let's look ahead to game week 17. There are a number of concerns within the team this week, with Cedric Suarez still doubtful through illness, George Friend yet to return from injury and Eden Hazard remaining doubtful. There is enough cover in defence however, in Jordi Amat and Gareth McCauley, so for that reason I'm tempted to roll the free transfer. The poor form of Roberto Firmino is also a worry, but having missed out on Eriksen's haul against Hull, and with Spurs fixtures about to turn fairly tough after the game against Burnley, it seems too late to make that switch now. For captaincy this week, Diego Costa is an option, as Chelsea take on a Crystal Palace side that are ranked 19th for goals conceded during their last five game weeks. However, Harry Kane faces a home fixture against Burnley, and despite his poor performance midweek, I fancy him to get back to scoring ways there. Burnley have conceded 11 goals during the last 5 game weeks, only one less than Crystal Palace, and 7 of the 11 have come away from home. As always, be sure to follow FPL Tips on Twitter for the confirmed team and captaincy selection. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. FanDuel is a one day fantasy football game where you can play for real money. Enter a new contest every Premier League weekend. Use the promo code FPLTIPS and FanDuel will match your first deposit all the way up to £400. Bonus credit is earned as you play at a rate of 5%. They'll also give you back your first stake if you don't win, up to the value of £10. So if you're over 18 and you'd like to get involved, head over to FanDuel.co.uk and use the promo code FPLTIPS.